Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. Let's just jump right on in to the rant that you've been waiting for. Remember what we said. We said this thing could not draw flies to poop. The WNBA cannot draw viewers without the one and only queen of basketball herself, Caitlin Clark. It's just the reality. You don't want to listen. But I'm going to explain it to you once again for those in the peanut gallery who don't seem to get what the vast majority of us understand. But before we jump on in, thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. As we get closer and closer to 6,000 subscribers, we're about 180 away. Help us get there, man. We're almost there. We're close. We're getting close. Our goal is 10,000 by the end of this calendar year. I know we can do it with your support. We greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. But let's just talk about what it is. And like my boy Ben Daniel says, calling a spade a spade, I'm still looking for a slogan where I keep it real because keeping it real is what I do. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of another one. Maybe I've got a few suggestions. I'm still trying to come up with the one I like the best. But if you have ideas, definitely drop them in the comments because I'm looking for a slogan here. Anyhow, let's just jump right on in. TV ratings, TV ratings, TV ratings. We told you no one will watch. It is Friday night, date night. Friday night, date night. And the goal of the WNBA is to draw in viewership. And you know what happened? The same old, just a different day. A potential closeout game between the Las Vegas Aces and the New York Liberty. One would think that Asia Wilson, the queen of basketball, or self-proclaimed at least, because we know who the real queen of the WNBA is. We know it's Caitlin Clark. But Asia, AJ, Wilson, privileged, insults Kelsey Plum. Kelsey Plum won't be in Vegas next year. I can bet. I would bet that Kelsey Plum is, Plum is not in Vegas next year because I believe she is a free agent. I think she's gone. And if I had a teammate speak to, speak to me the way she had Asia Wilson speak to her, <laughs> you're only here because you're white. Yeah, I don't know how that would roll too well with me. Uh, being that I actually was, the, I'm like the second leading all-time NCAA scorer in history, and, and you're not. <laughs> I didn't play with 10 McDonald's All-Americans. You did. Yeah, I didn't win a national championship. You did play with 10 McDonald's on Americans. I don't know. It's kind of crazy to me. But let's just jump right on in. This is what the Liberty and Aces drew. 994,000. This was a closeout game. The Aces managed to stay alive. This was Friday night. They survived. We'll find out probably tomorrow what the game yesterday did that sent them packing, thankfully for all of us, because this they are about as unlikable a team as it gets. It's funny, when I was a, when I was a kid and the Bulls were winning, I wasn't a Bulls fan because I'm, I'm a Miami guy. I wasn't a Bulls fan. I was a Miami, I'm a Miami guy. I live in Miami. I have a team. The Bulls beat us in 97. It felt like crap. We were 61 and 21, and they whooped our ass. <laughs> Just the way it was. So, no, I wasn't a Bulls guy. But I tell you right now, the vast majority of people that I knew loved the Bulls. Loved them. If, I mean, if even, even if the Heat lost, they would they loved Michael Jordan. They loved him. So this, for the, the funny part about when people talk to me about the LeBron conversation with Jordan, and I say Jordan is the, the greatest of all time, I wasn't a Jordan fan at the time. I respected him. He was petrifying. He scared the crap out of you. But I wasn't a Jordan fan. I was a Heat fan. Why would I be a Jordan fan? I'm a Heat fan. I don't cheer for individual players like that. I don't follow them around. I don't go from team to team based on where that player goes. I just don't do that. I grew up a Ricky Henderson fan, diehard Ricky Henderson fan. When he left the New York Yankees, you know what? Good, good, good luck, Ricky. I'll cheer for you on an individual level. But I'm a Yankees fan. If you come to play the Yankees, I want them to strike you out four times. Just the way it is. 
I'm a Dolphins fan. It didn't matter who was on my team. I'm a Dolphins fan. I did grow up a Celtics fan because that was prior to the Heat. They were here before the Heat. And, yeah, I guess because I was the white kid who liked to shoot jump shots. Larry Bird was my guy. I was a little kid. And, yeah, I think Larry Bird is the most most petrifying player in the planet. If if your life was in the line, I'm handing the ball to Larry Bird (laughs) because he was that dude. I'm a Panthers fan. Doesn't matter who's on the team. I'm a Hurricanes fan. Doesn't matter who's on the team. I don't do that stuff. I know guys that are Kevin Durant fans. They've been favorite team has been like five different teams now. It's ridiculous because he's gone so many places. That's not how I roll. But needless to say, we have a, a generation of individual fans. But the fact of the matter is, individually, Asia Wilson can't draw flies to crap. She can't. Her mouth has made her so unlikable to a large contingent of the population. She says stuff that's so out of pocket that if you said that to most people, you might get into a fight. The crap she said to Kelsey Plum, if it was a more volatile individual, that person might have been fighting with Asia Wilson right there on on those sidelines. But it didn't happen. Anyhow, they got beat. And then they talked crap and um, about, and hell, last year they talked crap about the Liberty. And I'm going to do a video on that because, you know, karma's a bitch. And they knew it was popping off. And they still said the things that they had to say about the Liberty. So guess what? Enjoy your, enjoy your Christmas break and your spring break. Because the Liberty advanced. But this was Friday night, 994,000. And they couldn't sell out their own building. They claimed all year they were selling out their building. They claimed that all year long. Yeah, you have different numbers for every single for every single game. There's a different attendance number. Their number changed every single game on their home court. From Seattle to the Liberty. They never sold out. Never. They can lie. They can tell you they sold out. Their arena seats 12,000, not 10,369, 10,370, 10,374. It seats 12,000. Okay. So that was Liberty and the Aces. Could not crack a million. You were the league MVP. I told you, people aren't staying home on date night to watch Asia Wilson. They're not staying home at night to watch Brianna Stewart. They're not staying home on date night to watch Sabrina Ionescu. The only player that people will stay home to watch is Caitlin Clark. And she drew over a million viewers seven different times on Ion Network in the regular season. They played the Washington Mystics and drew over a million. Every Friday, pretty much, when she played, they drew over a million on the Ion Network, the network that no one knew existed. But now let's look at the next one, the Connecticut Sun and the Minnesota Lynx. Sun and Lynx, 885,000. It's freaking embarrassing. This is the more, this is a series that actually is very, it's very competitive. This is a competitive series. You're going to the game, they're going to game five tomorrow of which there'll be 12 people watching. It's a Tuesday night. They're facing Major League Baseball playoffs. (laughs) I I mean, we'll see what their number was yesterday. Probably wasn't all that good. Well, who knows? Maybe it was better than we think. I don't know. We'll we'll find out tomorrow. What we know is that they won't come close to that 1.5 number that I've been talking about, which would be respectable. 885,000. Oh, by the way, the Connecticut Sun can't sell out a building either. That's the that's the, the, the funniest thing about all this stuff is that none of these teams have sold out a building in the semifinals. Not Minnesota, not Vegas, not the Liberty, and not the Link, uh, not, not the Sun. None of them are sold out. You can't sell a building. This is a game five closeout. This is a, a, a winner take all to meet up with Liberty for the WNBA finals. We shall see. But 885, the Mendo Mierda, trash, basura. 
You ain't hear me. It's Friday night, date night. Only Caitlin Clark makes you stay home on date night. But here is the comedy of this one. You want to know what led the ratings? Led the ratings in the land of sports? Because there are some TV shows that were also on this list that I don't know nothing about, to be quite frank. I don't have any idea. I, I, I really don't. I don't know shit about shit when it comes to these Friday night television shows. Because I don't watch Friday night TV if it's not sports. A show called Survivor. Is that the same Survivor that's been around for 20 years? Surviving on the Island. Is that the same show? I don't, I don't know. It did 1.31 million on CBS. High potential. I have no idea what high potential is. 2.38 million on ABC. Some show called Brilliant Minds. Again, another show. I have no idea what that is. 1.82 million on NBC. Uh, and then we jump into, and then we jump into, uh, what was this? Is this the right one? Yeah, that's it right here. Okay. And then we jump into, uh, hold on. Let me check. Let me keep this real quick. And then we jump into uh, Dateline NBC. I know what Dateline is. NBC, 2.44 million. 2020 on ABC, 2.23 million. These are the different shows. Now, that's all free TV. But, hell, today, today I mean, ESPN and ESPN2 are pretty, much, are pretty much on everyone's television box as it is. But let's look at uh, what the – what. Uh, oh, here, here. Fox News, Jesse Waters Prime Time. That's cable TV. 3.37 million viewers. Some random news show that I'm sure people do watch a lot. Out got more ratings than the two WNBA games combined. Now let's look at the let's look at this one. WWE SmackDown, one point five two million on USA. Look, 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 I love wrestling. I'm a wrestling dork. I love wrestling. I don't watch SmackDown religiously. I may catch clips of it. I may catch it recorded and I fast forward through commercials. I don't watch it religiously. I don't watch Monday Night Raw religiously. I watch it occasionally and I enjoy it. I love the, the, the spectacle of wrestling. I love the, 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 the theatrics of wrestling. It's a soap opera for men. I didn't see SmackDown on Friday. 1.52 million. That is 500 plus thousand more than what the WNBA drew in the links and Liberty. So scripted theatrics beat real sports. I don't think an NBA game in the playoffs would get outdrawn by SmackDown. Pretty sure it would. This was the game on ESPN. Houston versus TCU, 1.51 million. TCU was three and two, and Houston was one and four. Houston won the game, by the way. This Big 12 matchup. Houston did win the game. They won that game 30 to 19. They improved to two and four, and TCU dropped to three and three. Mediocre college football did better by half a million than the WNBA semifinals. And finally, Michigan versus Oregon State. Oregon State, I'm sorry, Oregon. Oregon blew out Michigan State. 2.84 million on Fox on Friday night. That capped off all of sports. That's damn near three. That's shoot. That's damn near three times what the Lynx Liberty did. Sorry, the, 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 the Aces Liberty did. And it's actually over three times what the Lynx and Sun did. And Michigan State's not very good. So these were two otherwise mediocre football games outdrawing easily two WNBA playoff games, but they're going to tell you that the people are watching. They're going to lie to you and tell you that people care. People do not care if Caitlin Clark ain't there. It's what it is. And I haven't gone through clips on first take or any of those shows this morning. 
I'm going to venture to guess there's probably not too much on yesterday's games. Because why? They were competing with the NFL. Good luck. We will see what happens when the finals start. Don't expect much. But they'll lie to you and say it was great. But without Caitlin Clark, it ain't shit. Pound that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Share this video. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Let's do this. Come on now.